Ali McCoyce believes it could take United years to win the title again. Jamie thinks Newcastle could be finishing above Manchester United next season. Steve McLaren was at the club under Sir Alex Ferguson when they won a historic treble. He joins us now to add some sort of sense to the argument. Good morning to Good you, morning, sir. Good morning, Steve. How are you? Laura, Ali, Jamie. Uh, sense to the conversation. Wow. <laughs> well done, Jamie. Well done, Jamie. The quiz came back with a... YouTube and Drake was unbelievable. Steve, <laughs> Steve, if you were in the studio and looked across at his face, you would have known he didn't have a clue. I knew exactly, exactly what it was. I knew exactly <laughs> what it was. <laughs> Listen, Steve, I've got to ask you, mate. Obviously, the reaction um, um, from the, the the result yesterday has been pretty dramatic, maybe over the top. Where do we get the balance? Because we've got to say, I thought United first half did, did reasonably well, to be brutally honest with you, and then I thought Manchester. Manchester City lifted the level up. They were absolutely superb. However, I don't think United supporters would be happy with the manner of the defeat. No, absolutely. Um, I'm with you, Ali. I think there's been, a, as usual, um, an overreaction from everybody. Um, they just need to put that right the next game. They've got an opportunity to do that. It's going to be a long week in the Manchester United uh, training ground. They got the game plan right. They pressed well. They forced City into making mistakes. They transitioned well. They had opportunities to score. They went the goal down. They didn't go, didn't drop their heads. They kept playing. And I was quite satisfied at half-time. There was only De Bruyne who was the difference between the two sides. But the second half, and this is where top managers come into it, and Pep, you know, obviously went in at half-time, said the right things. City came out with unbelievable energy and intensity. And for some reason, United couldn't match that. The energy levels, intensity levels couldn't match it. But the disappointing thing for me was 3-1, 25 minutes to go. The players stopped running. Mm -hmm. And they they didn't stop running for the manager. They stopped running for each other. Mm -hmm. Then you've got problems. Yeah, I mean, look, Steve, you say it's an overreaction a little bit from everyone, but... I think that's the, that's a, a telltale sign for me that they're not something's not right at the football club. You've been at Manchester United in their best years. If if players stop running for you, Steve, you, as a manager, you know you have got problems. Oh, you, you're in trouble. You know it, Jeffy. You know yeah. how. If the game's about running, yeah, you've got the ball for about a minute. The game, the rest of the game is about running, and the top teams run and they run with energy, intensity, and they commit. United did that in the first half. They ran, ran for each other. Second half, in adversity, that's when they have to stick together and they never stick together. So you're absolutely right. Underlying, underlying, under that surface, there are big problems in that dressing room at that football club. And no one has solved them. Ollie was close, but he was about halfway there. Must have fought every day to get them running. And that's the problem. And the solution is quite simple. They need a manager who the players will trust and they'll run for, die for. You need to get the bad ones out of the dressing room. And this is the key to it. Roy Keane was spot on. Five or six don't deserve to wear the shirt. Get them out of the club and sign players who will run and fight for that shirt. Steve, it's amazing looking at it. We were were talking earlier on there. um, and, and, And I... Good and happy dressing room. I've always said a good and happy dressing room doesn't guarantee success, but no. boy, does it give you a better chance. And I look at, for example, I look at Arsenal, I look at West Ham, they look as though they've got a good squad of boys. They'll lose games, of course they will, and they're not of the, yeah. the, the standard of, of, of Chelsea, Liverpool, and Manchester City. How, However, I think. My point is, their managers and coach will look at the dressing room saying, Our dressing room's all right here. The Manchester United one doesn't look at it at all. No, when you. When you... You know, the comments before the game about Ronaldo, Cavani, you know, you've been there, I've been there. You look at some players and you want them to, it's a local derby, you want them to play, you want them to fight. And I'm not saying that Cavani apparently trained for three days, didn't feel quite right. Well, sit on the bench. Ronaldo, not quite. The the messages are not coming out clear and succinct. So something is wrong. And you're absolutely right. You talk about West Ham. Moyes has done a fantastic... You talk about us. They were bottom of the league at the beginning mm-hmm. of the season. They were bottom of the league. And how quickly that has turned around. Stay patient, stay calm, don't overreact. That's what Arsenal's message was. And they've come through it. 
Manchester United in the summer need a massive overhaul mm. and they need the right manager in there. Who is that, do you think, Steve? Oh, God. You know, it, managing Manchester United is totally different to managing any other football club. It's like Real Madrid, Barcelona. It's like playing for Manchester United and then teams. The shirt is heavy. You've got to be a certain character to be able to do that and handle the big personalities who will come to the club. You know, so it needs to be somebody like that. Pochettino has proved that at, at PSG. He's dealing with the big egos, so mm. he will learn more than he did at Tottenham, and he'll come through that. If he wins the the league and the Champions League, he then his character will 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 rise. It will heighten. Eric Ten Hag, I know, a little bit unknown, tactically knows the game unbelievably well. You know, they're the two candidates, but there isn't real possibility out there where you would say, yeah, but they need a big personality, mm. they need a big character, and they need to stick by them. What about Rangnick, Steve? What, what have you made of him coming in? Because there's talk of, of him going upstairs, but can that happen when when it looks to me like the, the players don't really fight for him? Yeah, that's right. That, the, the thing for me, Jim, is they don't fight for each other. <laughs> I think that's the key thing. Yeah. They're not even looking at each other and fighting for each other. And you are absolutely right. And and we, I was waiting, 20 minutes to go, 3-1 down. I was waiting for McTominay, Fred, somebody to go through someone. Yeah. I always remember we had games like that. We got beat 5-0 against Chelsea uh, when I was there with Sir Alex. And the boys, 5-0 down, they kicked everybody. Yeah. Yeah. And, and Roy Keane got sent off. He, he just kicked somebody. Didn't bother, just walked off. But that's a better reaction than actually just standing still and giving up. Yeah. But do you think them players exist anymore, though, Steve? Because I feel like them players are going out of the game. No, I think the character's still there. I don't think you can go around and kick and, and snarl like uh, Roy Keane Vieira used to do. But I think, in certain respects, you can you can get hold of people. You can mm. demonstrate by, by demonstrating that, that you want to run. But it surprised me, the people like McTominay, and I saw them, the body language was poor. They were looking around the team. The subs came on, didn't give any at attitude whatsoever. And and it might be an overreaction. All they need to do is they've got Tottenham next. It's going to be a long week. They just have to react. They've got to finish fourth. In that top four, they've got to finish. And they've got a chance in the Champions League. Good result at Atletico. So they've still got plenty to play for. They won't overreact within that dressing room. But, oh, my God, Ranjit going in, you must wonder what he's coming to. Because once it goes wrong and starts to go wrong, at any club, never mind Manchester United, it's very difficult to turn it around. I was listening to the guys um, in the studio talk last night and having um, big heated debates about this and, and what, and Nick's going to be doing and Neville was saying look his job at the moment is to look at those players that he has uh, and figure out who are the players to move forward and and you mentioned there five or six players in the same way that Roy Keane does that, that need to be moved on does it not feel like Manchester United have, have been in this transitional period for for a decade now almost at, at what point do you think they're going to get it right yeah that's a good question and it all starts from the top all starts from leadership from the board uh, the direction, the vision, uh, the strategies. And I don't think it's right at the top. I don't think they've got the right people. And that's the key. You can have structure, you can have leadership. But if you haven't got the right people at the top, you haven't got the right manager, you haven't got the right players, you haven't got the right squad, the backup, you're never going to win. You're never going to get back to. And, you know, Sir Alex was rare, very, very rare and unique. That will never happen again. And uh, in this modern society, modern game, you know, it's very much short term, but they've got to get the right man, somebody who comes in, but they've got to get leadership from the top and somebody, a sport director or somebody who got to get the right people in the right seats on the right bus going in the right direction. They are nowhere near that at the present moment. Steve, always a pleasure. Thanks for coming on. Good to talk, and Steve. You, and listen, good luck tonight. Thank you. Ali, good luck tonight. Thanks so much, Steve. Well done. Good luck. <laughs> Very much appreciated, mate. Have a good day. Talk Sport Breakfast with Laura Woods. Monday to Wednesday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.